This is going to be a video on the f PSN exploit. Uh, just a few things right up front. Know that this can and probably will get you banned from the PlayStation Network if Sony catches you. Um, I've played online two, actually four times total, and I haven't got the email of death yet. So, but just a quick disclaimer that, you know, right up front, this video, it might even be deleted because Sony really doesn't like this stuff, but um, just be very careful. If you do get banned, I, I'm not responsible. Like, monkey see, monkey do. Just because I do it doesn't mean you have to do it. So, this is just a tutorial that if you want to do it, just know that you might be banned. So, here are the tools to do it. So, if you want to go ahead and do this, that's fine. If not, that's even better. So, just know that there's really no other way to be on the PlayStation Network right now on a custom firmware. So, if you want online that bad, like if, if your online play is really important to you, then you might just want to just update to 3.56 and not be have a hacked PS3. But at this point, if you want to have the best of both worlds, this is the only way to go. So there's always that risk involved. So just one more time, just black and white. Um, I don't condone doing this, but if you do, if you get banned, it's not my fault. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to need for all this stuff to work is, of course, a hacked PS3. This will not work on 3.56. Please stop asking if there's a 3.56 downgrade or if this will work on 3.56 because as of the day of this video, which is March 7th, 2011, there is no released method on any hacks on 3.56. Although there are articles that there's a possible hack, there has nothing nothing has been released yet. So uh, in I'll put an annotation up there. When that annotation is gone, then I'm sure I'll have a pre like a, my next video that you guys will be able to watch for any 3.56 hacks. But until that time, if you're watching this, you know today when I upload it, or the next day or two, there are no 3.56 hacks. So this you'll need a hacked PS3 on 3.55 or lower. For anything, I recommend the K Meow um, custom firmware at 3.55. If you have GeoHots, then simply go into your recovery menu, reflash official 3.55, and then from there install. That came me out. You can just follow my tutorial. There's an annotation right here. The second thing you're going to need is a, a FAT32 flash drive. NTFS support, I believe, has hack hacked its way into PS3, but I don't trust it. So this is also just a lot easier. Just have a FAT32 flash drive. It could be, you know, uh, a gigabyte, two gigabytes, 512 megabytes. It doesn't matter how big it is. You just need a flash drive. The second thing you need is going to be an archive I made for you guys of all the files you're going to need. To do this, go in the link right down there. There's a link right there. Just click that and you can download the files. And the last thing of course we'll need is a little bit of time. Um, this whole process, you know, if you're not watching this video, I mean just to do it from start to finish should really take no more than five minutes. It's pretty easy, but you do have to have a little technical how-to, but that's what this video is for if you don't have that. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to get out your flash drive. So as you can see, here's mine right now. And so now you want to download and extract this. There's a link right in the description like I said earlier, so go ahead and click that and download this. Then you just want to go ahead and extract it. It's a zip archive, so th there's a zip utility built right into OS X and Windows, probably Linux too. So there's no other uh, program needed for that. So then when you open it, you'll see something that looks a little like this. So once you get to your 8, or well, in my case the 8 gigabyte drive, but whatever flash drive you have, you want to go ahead and copy CA27.CER and ComGenie to the root, which is just like that. That's it. Now, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and you want to extract dev blind right here. Now, this varies. Like I said in the beginning, I would re highly recommend, not even just for the purpose of this exploit, but for the purpose of just having your custom firmware, I recommend running KMeow. Um, I have a great tutorial on that, so just like I, I linked it to you earlier, so go ahead and click that. And so now when you open this up, you'll see one of these. Now, if you decide to go against the grain here and run the GeoHots custom firmware, then you go ahead and copy this one. But if you're like me and you prefer KMeow and you followed my tutorial or anything like that, go ahead and just copy the one that says DevBlind right over here. So that's pretty much all you need to do for your uh, drive. So that's pretty much it. And so let's go ahead and go over to the PS3. All right, so here I am at my PS3's cross menu bar and here's the flash drive we have all those files on. So go ahead and plug that into your PS3. You want to go ahead and give it, a, give it a second and if you're not already go to install package files and you'll see two things you won't see that ca27.cer file because that's not a package so go and install comgenie awesome file manager and real quick i do want to mention that this is possible to use on an ftp server however that does leave, that has more room for error that's also not as secure so i do prefer using this method here it's just a lot more 
I'd say safe and it's also less um, prone to issues. So then you want to go ahead and in install DevBlind as well. And once both of these are installed, the first thing you want to do is, is actually run DevBlind. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. Now this does some stuff under the hood. It's a really small application to run. It won't look like it does much, but it does do, in fact, a pretty good task. So really, this is just a warning. Go ahead and hit yes. Do you want to mount DevBlind? Yes. And then hit circle. What that does is it basically creates a shortcut to your flash memory so that you can safely, well, more safely write to your flash memory so you don't have to write directly to your flash. It's sort of like a shortcut. So now after that is installed, you want to go ahead and run the file manager. And now this is the process of actually copying that that uh, ca27.cer file to your flash memory. So on the left side here, you can see my arrow cursor, or arrow moving. The first thing you want to do, however, is hit select, and that gets you to the mode where it'll actually let you copy to your flash memory because it is risky. So now navigate to your USB device. It'll usually be USB and some three-digit number, and then navigate to ca27.cer. Now hit right on the D-pad. You'll be taken to the right side. On here, you want to navigate to dev blind, dev underscore blind, data, cert, C E R T. And you'll have a list that looks a little like this. Now, you want to go back over to the right side. Make sure that little arrow is pointing at CA27 and hit circle and then hit start. And that will copy that file right over to the flash memory. So, now once you're done with that, that's all you have to do. You can just go ahead and hold the home button, or the PlayStation button rather, and quit to the cross media bar. We're now done here, so now we're going to go ahead over to the PC. Alright, so now I'm at my PC. The first thing you're going to want to do is run a command prompt. In Windows 7, you can just type CMD into the start menu, but if you're on like Windows, I think Windows Vista or below, you have to go to run, and then you can type CMD, and you'll get here. And so here, I'll try to zoom in to this for you guys. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to type in a command into the terminal which is ipconfig ipconfig and that'll get you all your uh, internet settings like your IP address, the router, everything like that. So what you want is up here where it says IP version 4 address, IPv4. And as you can see here mine is 192.168.15.106 that's very important you're going to need to enter that into your PS3 but so now that you have this information let's go back to the PS3 and I'll show you how to set that up. Okay, so once you have the IP address of your PC, you want to come back to your PlayStation. So once you're here, you want to go to your network settings. So that's what we're going to do. So now here, you, you just want to go as if you're setting up a new connection. So we're going to go to Internet Connection Settings, hit OK. And you just want to start off like you're setting up a regular connection. So custom, uh, wired, wireless, whatever works for you. I'm running wireless. Here's my SSID and my web encryption. Now here's where it gets different is the IP address setting. Automatic is what it's at. You want to switch it to manual. Now this is where the fun happens. So under IP address, you can really have this be anything you want, but uh, generally you want the first three digits to be right where they are, and then you could change the last digit. It's just, this is like your router, these first three, and then this is kind of like your your address on the street, basically. Is mine's 130. So now I'll go down to subnet mask. Just leave this how it is. Don't touch this. It's uh, it's just 255.255.255.0. That's exactly what you want. Your default router is typically your IP address with a 1 on the end. And if you notice that right here, they're pretty much the same numbers, but with a 1 on the end. Primary DNS, this is where the magic happens. You want This is where you want to put the IP address of your PC. So as you can see here, I have 192.168.15.106, just like I found earlier. And for your secondary DNS, you want Google's open DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. .8 so yours should look fairly similar. You won't have the exact same digits, but this needs to be your PC. This needs to be your IP address with the one on the end, and this needs to be all eights. So once you have that, just go ahead and continue forward. Everything else is automatic. Go ahead and hit X. However, don't test it because all that's going to happen is that your system is going to tell you you need to update. So now just go hit circle and shut off the PlayStation. You're now done with this step. Let's go ahead and move on. So here we are back at the PC, and now you want to go ahead and go into that folder you downloaded. And you'll see the exploit here, PSN. Go ahead and double click that. And another command prompt will come up. If this anything like this comes up, you want to make sure that both these are checked. So then hit allow access. 
So now this is listening on listening in on your uh, router for anything that connects to any any of the settings that you set up. So we'll let that run, and now we'll just go ahead and fire the PS3 back up. Go ahead and switch over to the PS3 here. Okay, so I'll go ahead and focus on my other monitor over here, or at least try to. As you can see, we now have some action in the command prompt over there, which means that it's working. So we'll go ahead and we'll come back to the PS3. All right, so now we'll go ahead and we'll sign in. And just to be sure, I'll go ahead and I'll show you my system information there's 3.55 not 3.56 and we'll go ahead and we'll sign in and that's pretty much all there is to it so as you can see the command prompt window has seen some more action here and now you can play online with all your games you have access to chat and everything like that so that's basically it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoyed it like I said earlier, this is a risky uh, process, so if you do get banned from PlayStation Network, please don't come screaming at me, yelling, it's my fault. Um, it's not my fault if you guys decide to do this or not. I'll probably myself eventually end up being banned. I don't know yet. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, if you have any questions, I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also, go ahead and check out itechcity.org as well as at itechcity on Twitter. The site's uh, been received pretty well. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. We've had over 20,000 views. A lot of new people have registered, so thank you. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Feel free to join the forums, get into some discussions there. There's always going to be you know, new articles, hopefully every single day. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful, and I'll see you in my next video.